My little low quad trees are doing good. Let me take this leaf off because it is no good. They're doing pretty good. They're, they're doing well. Now, I use um, molasses in my garden only on very, very special occasions. And the molasses I have is the molasses that I made. Let me share. Wait a minute. So this is the molasses I made from my sugar canes, right? So what I do is if a plant is alive, she's green, she's beautiful, but she's not growing. Every day I come out and I look at her. She, she's alive and she's beautiful, but the girl, she's not growing. So usually what I do is I take some water, put uh, a small amount of molasses in it, and give it to her. And then the next thing you know, <laughs> that sugar, baby, that sugar get them growing. Um, the whole theory for me is that the molasses um, is like giving a child candy. Uh, you give a child some candy and that child going to get active, right? <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to get your kids to go to sleep at night if you give them candy and stuff like that, right? So... This is what the molasses does to plants. It will just shake them up a little bit. And there you go. Your plant will get to growing. Hey, it's molasses. So I used to use mama's molasses from the store. Hey, try it. I mean, definitely, it won't hurt your plants, right? It won't hurt your plants. Baby, it's sugar. It's sugar, sugar. <laughs> so this is a container where I have some mustard greens growing. And I'm just pulling out like bad leaves at the bottom. That's been laying on the soil, right? I wanted to share this with you all. Check this out. This is worm casting in the containers. So what worms does, worms live under the ground. But... When they come up to use the toilet, they come to the surface and they poop. And this is their casting. And this is one of the reasons I don't purchase castings because it's always in my garden beds. See that? There's lots of uh, worm castings in this bed in this uh, container, right? I thought that was so cool, y'all. Worm castings. <laughs> cool. All over the mustard greens. Come on, baby, get get it, get it. <laughs> uh, all in the, mer there they are, in the moringa tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and the moringa tree is doing really good. She, her pods are getting nice and thick and healthy. And there they are. There they are on this side. They're doing really good. I'm looking forward to them, you know, turning brown so we can do some harvesting, right? Yeah. These guys, have you seen them? <laughs> Wow, living in a, a carefree life, you know. Yeah. They're living the life, baby. Oh, <laughs> I can't keep up with them. Yeah. There they are. <laughs> so I hand pollinated uh, one of my eggplants. And I'm going to tell you, family, I dropped the Rosa Bianca or is it the Bianca Rose it's one of, switch the name up for me it's but it's that name right but what I'm getting here it don't look like a, a Rosa Bianca at all let me share it looks like a white eggplant and I now I've planted white eggplants before but I didn't think I planted any today but 
That's white eggplant. <laughs> and she have another one. It's yeah, it's it's germinated. It will be there. But this one? Hey, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> hey, hey. He wasn't a daddy. <laughs> I don't know. So I had a bulb <laughs> of elephant garlic in my studio. Evidently, I had shared it with you all uh, of this elephant garlic. And when I planted my elephant garlic yesterday, I forgot them in there. So, so I have, I think, about four or five cloves of elephant garlic. Let's see. Here's another one. Here is another one. Is that one? Yep, yeah, this one. Okay, I think that's all. So, I have six more bulbs of elephant garlic I need to drop. But I'm not going to drop it here. Because I'm going to drop some of these Italian garlics here. Let's go. So, and then I drop my garlic deep enough that... When I swipe, I don't see it. And that's the whole point for me. Because the garlic grows underground. So also remember, when you are preparing your soil for your garlic, is to add bone meal. It needs phosphorus. Yeah, it needs phosphorus, so... Give it to her, baby. <laughs> Give it some phosphorus. I'm trying to see which one is which. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. All right. So let me share this. So I just put a hole in the soil with my finger. This is the bottom. This is the top. This is Italian garlic. Yeah, and put it in, cover it up where you don't see it that deep. Yeah. Now I'm gonna put one elephant garlic right in the middle. All right. Yeah. There we go. There they all are. All done. <laughs> oh, if you saw the progress of my little papaya tree, here she is today. What is today? The seventh, the sixth, something like that of November. And this is the way she looked today. She is really doing her thing. She's putting on leaves and she's acting like a big girl. <laughs> Yeah, she's doing really good. That's her. And her, she has leaves here. Yeah, that's her today. Mm. <laughs> all right. Pineapple pear, you all see that? Now she has pears and now she's putting on new flowers. Those are flowers right there. It's November, my love. It's November. Calm down. Wow. 